Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Obi Yates, and I'm still full of the code I had yesterday. However, I am determined to complete reading the book of Deuteronomy myself. So I ask that you do pray that the Lord gives me the strength to finish off these last few readings. We're reading Deuteronomy chapter 27 today. Let's open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, they reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you today. It shall be on the day when you shall pass over the Jordan, the land which Yahweh your God gives you, that you shall set up for yourselves great stones, and coat them with plaster. You shall write on them all the words of this law, when you have passed over, that you may go into the land which Yahweh your God gives you, the land flowing with milk and honey, as Yahweh the God of your fathers has promised you. It shall be, when you have crossed over the Jordan, that you shall set up these stones, which I command you today, on Mount Ebo, and you shall coat them with plaster. There you shall build an altar to Yahweh your God, an altar of stones. You shall not use any iron tool on them. You shall build the Yahweh your God's altar of uncut stones. You shall offer burnt offerings on it to Yahweh your God. You shall sacrifice peace offerings, and shall eat there. You shall rejoice before Yahweh your God. You shall write on the stones all the words of this law very plainly. Moses and the priests, the Levites, spoke to all Israel, saying, Be silent and listen, Israel. Today you have become the people of Yahweh your God. You shall therefore obey Yahweh your God's voice, and do his commandments and his laws which I command you today. Moses commanded the people the same day, saying, These shall stand on Mount Gerizim to bless the people when you have crossed over the Jordan. Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Joseph, and Benjamin. These shall stand on Mount Ebo for the curse. Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulun, Dan, and Nephetali. With a loud voice, the Levites shall say to all the men of Israel, Cursed is the man who makes in a grave the an image, an abomination to Yahweh, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, and sets it up in secret. All the people shall answer and say, Amen. Cursed is he who dishonours his father or his mother, or the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who removes his neighbour's landmark, or the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who leads the blind astray in the road, or the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who reveals justice from the foreigner, fatherless and widow, or the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who has sex with his mother, because he dishonours his father's bed, or the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with any kind of animal, or the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with his sister, his stepsister, or his half-sister, or the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with his mother-in-law, or the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who secretly kills his neighbour, or the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who takes a bribe to kill an innocent person, or the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who doesn't uphold the words of this law by doing them, or the people shall say, Amen.